Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And I'm Ollie's dad. <laughs> and today we have our resident cheese expert. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> cheese eater, certainly. Cheese eater. <laughs> yeah, he's just lowered the bar. He, I am capable of digesting dairy. <laughs> <laughs> because I have found a rotating cheese bar. What rotates? <laughs> wow. Let's go see, shall we? <laughs> This is Seven Dial Food Market. There's a lot of food hotspots around here. The first time I saw this, I was like, we need to bring you, Henry. Well, it's like heaven, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Conveyor belt of cheese, Ollie. Oh my gosh. When we walk into a place and there's just a whole cheese fridge, you know that's a good sign. Look at this guy. Wow, look at this. It's like a drum. Holy moly. I don't know if you've noticed, we've got all different types of British cheeses and they've got little pairings to go with each cheese and they're all different. I love this because it's like the cheeses are all on a date with their perfect pairing <laughs> <laughs> on like a little like fairground ride. They're all just innocently enjoying themselves before they're devoured by a giant. But they won't be separated still. They will be together in death. Exactly. <laughs> in our bellies. Yeah. <laughs> what catches your fancy first? <laughs> Too much choice. Do start with the most expensive or the cheapest? Uh, start with the cheapest. Oh, so the cream plates, I think, are a bit cheaper. This one is a Cornish Gouda with a bit of clotted cream fudge. Wow. <laughs> is it Gouda or is it Gouda? Gouda. Gouda, sorry, Gouda. sorry. I wasn't very good at Gouda. pronouncing that. Sorry, okay. <laughs> you just say that. Luke just <laughs> yeah. said I wasn't very good at <laughs> And is that fudge? Yeah, clotted cream. Does it work? Oh, that works all right. Really? Because you sometimes get sweet cheeses. The combination is that, in effect. Mm. Oh, that is good. Now, the texture of the bunch what? is quite similar to the texture of the it's cheese. It's almost identical. And so it kind of That's blends really weird. in your mouth. Why is that so good? I can't believe we've started at this level because this is already extremely good. Oh, now the cheese has come by that I wanted to try. We're staying on a cheese and dessert combination theme. Oh. Okay. Stilton style cheese paired with a chocolate and hazelnut brownie. Oh. This looks like a fresh brownie and a moldy blonde. Uh, Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have put these two together at all. I, I... But you never know. I was surprised by the fudge. I mean, yeah. normally you would have brownie with cream, yeah. so they've just yes. left the cream. Okay. For a very long time. <laughs> too long. Way too long. <laughs> oh, that's a really good Stilton, actually. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> that looks much more mild than it tastes. My initial reaction is, why spoil it with a brownie? It's so strong now, but all you can taste is the cheese. <laughs> it doesn't not work. It almost it not out. not works. Not not. <laughs> it, usually you have Stilton with a very, very plain cracker, whereas chocolate itself is quite a rich taste. Yeah. It's like a loud, bombastic friend who starts dating an equally loud, bombastic friend. At some point, they just become too much <laughs> and you want to stop hanging out. I'm not sure I want to hang out with that cheese anymore. <laughs> Good evening. Josh is going to take a bite of every cheese mentioned in the following message. Wait. Did you hear how the cheesemonger protected himself online? He built a rock fort. Oh, oh, okay. And he had an army of trained grizzly bears who he summoned with the call, come on, bear. Oh. But he was sad because his solution was not Gouda. He needed something better. That's why he should have chosen NordVPN's advanced cybersecurity package to keep him safe online. Think of it as an alarm bell for your data security, but not a large, intrusive alarm bell, but a little baby bell. <laughs> With over 5,000 servers worldwide and fast, reliable encryption, NordVPN allows you to browse the web securely, order goat's cheese securely, <laughs> and keep you protected from the hackers and the trolls in the other a-holes. Who knows who could be watching you online? It could be a horse in a helmet or a mask of pony. <laughs> <laughs> We know money doesn't grow on cheese, so I've got a great offer for you. If you're the kind of person who looks in the mirror and says, hello, me, <laughs> I, I need to save some money. Then listen up. If you sign up now using the code Jolly, you can get 60% off and one month free. Plus, there's a refund guarantee, so it's completely risk-free. It's a damn good deal. <laughs> <laughs> Go to nordvpn.com forward slash jolly to claim this unbelievable offer to upgrade your internet security and get privacy and peace of mind online. Now, back to the video. <laughs> 
Yes, oh. please. Does it come on a separate conveyor belt? Like a hidden one no. underneath? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Cheers. Oh. oh, that is oh, lovely. That is wine. <laughs> that is wine. <laughs> really want to put things on the conveyor belt as well. That's not how this works. Can we? Can we? Like, what else in life do you think would be improved by a conveyor belt? Like, in the morning, all of your clothes, an outfit. You could do it in a pub, don't have to wait for a pint. Actually, that would be dangerous. Yeah, that would be, yeah. There'd be a guy at the end of the bar just going like... <laughs> okay, so, do you want to go back to something a bit more funky? I've seen this guy coming along again. Should we do it? Oh, go on, then. The we donut. must. Yeah, the donut. Goat cheese donut. I am quite a fan of goat cheese. Well, it's the greatest of all time. Goat, <laughs> very good. Okay, um, very good. It's called a whipped rosary goat cheese donut paired with an apricot and vanilla jam. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> okay. I got a lot of cheese in that. Okay, it tastes. <laughs> It tastes like a custard donut that's going to make me unwell. <laughs> it, it has, it has it does, got that. Right? It's close enough to a normal donut with added goat's cheese. Yeah. But you know what? I think the goat's cheese and the jam work really well. It's a donut I'm not sure of. All right, how are we yeah. feeling about this one here? What is that? So this is a smoked Herkham's Lancashire cheese, lightly smoked over oak, served and paired with smoked apple butter. I didn't know you could milk apples. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let alone churn up the milk and make it into a butter. Um, where does it where does it come out? Okay. There's no nipples. Mm, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's not. Honey, oh. honey. That's it. He knows what a nipple is, Luke. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it almost looks like a cornbread. Right? Are you shaking? I don't know. The texture. Just so you can see the texture. Just try a little bit of that apple butter, because I had a taste earlier. It's so smoky. It's like a whiskey. Oh yeah. Yeah, it really is. Oh. Isn't that crazy? It doesn't taste like butter at all. Yeah, it's almost like it's not butter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't believe it. Because <laughs> they don't have nipples. They don't. <laughs> or others. <laughs> no disrespect to the conveyor belt. I think maybe that cheese has been on the conveyor belt too long. It's warmer than I would yeah. like. It's a bit yeah. sweaty. It, it's like it went to the gym a couple of hours ago. <laughs> And it's just really pumping, slow sweating as well, which is the worst <laughs> kind. This one looks just very attractive, so we got to try Ooh. that. Look at that. Ooh. Look. You are going to love this, Dad. This is entering novel <laughs> antibiotic territory. <laughs> we all need a bit of antibiotic. Oh, we do, we do, except for cows. Google it. It is very, very depressing. <laughs> okay, it's a delicious ash-coated goat's cheese with a flinty rind and a mousse-like texture. I don't know I what any of that means. I'm loving the adjectives here. Uh, but it's paired with gooseberry and elderflower jam, and on the bottom, that's shortbread. Oh, really? Uh, I'm liking the look of this. Here we go. That is a cheesy, jammy dodger. Why, why, why do you have to ruin it? Why do you have to ruin it? You go through different no. stages on this. The first taste you get is the jam, then the cheese kicks in. Oh, I, I love the jam, that's my favorite cheese. And then it's it's accompanied by a crumbling of Crunchy, the... crumbly, lovely shortbread. That's my favorite so far. I, I agree, I think that's my favorite so far. It's so good. Even though it was moldy, the taste was very creamy and mild. Very creamy. You are okay with that? Mm. You know, not cheese prejudice, lover of all cheeses. Uh, absolutely, I okay. love them all. <laughs> <laughs> Even the stinking bishop. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I kept it in the fridge. I was eating it for about six months. <laughs> How did mum let you do that? Oh, uh, yeah. I wasn't that's popular. I think the inside plastic of the fridge is now impregnated with a smell. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> When's it expecting? <laughs> 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 okay, so I went for this because I thought you maybe you wanted something a little bit more traditional this time. I wasn't sure what was on top, but I've just checked. It's stewed leeks. Stewed leeks. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that's like that's like prison food. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had stewed leeks. I've had, I definitely had stewed leeks before. Okay. Sometimes you have a leek soup, and then you will put 
cheese on the top of it. So yes, we used to have those with grandma. Yeah. The legendary leek soup. This is actually in Kendall family folklore. <laughs> okay. I hated leek soup and all of my cousins hated it as well. My sister just loved it for some reason, so she just kept eating it. So we distracted her and then pour our soup in <laughs> and she must have eaten maybe two litres <laughs> wow. of leek soup. Oh, wow. Oh, this is stewed leek and this cheese here is called the St. James. Does it yeah, smell? It's got, yeah, it's got a little smell to it, but not overly like pungent. Saint, saintly. Saintly, very good. A sweet and floral with an earthy brined rind and silky paste. A lot of saints are like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mm, no, that's good. That's my favourite so far. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. The combination as well. The leek and the cheese set each other off beautifully. Really good. Yeah. Oh, that cheese, the texture is, is lovely though. This one looks like a, a hot mess. I mean, it almost doesn't look like a cheese. Does it, it looks like a pudding. Well, it looks pre-chewed. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> buy a sheet. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so this is our first ever fresh cheese on the belt. Cumbria's finest sheep's ricotta from the team at St. James. Paired with oh. amarena oh, cherries St. James, and that sea again. salt. Yeah. Classic. You think it'd be busy doing miracles and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it almost looks like a cheesecake that you've dropped on the floor oh. and just dropped on the yes. plate. So someone stood on. Yeah. yeah. But that hasn't stopped us before. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh! 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 Tastes like curdled milk. Crumbly, like tissue paper texture. Yeah, yeah, it's just a mush. It's what I imagine paper mache would taste like. Oh! He's got the, the exact texture of vomit. Okay, okay. Can we put it back on the conveyor no, belt? No, no, we just <laughs> ate half of it. I mean, it looks like we ate it and then spat it back out. We got well, it, it looked like that. Maybe, maybe it did. Oh, maybe maybe that's the problem with it. <laughs> You're right. That, honestly, maybe someone did. Let's wash it away with the next cheese. <laughs> this is St. Ella. There's a lot of saints. Yeah, yeah. seriously. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to be an issue, but yeah, Saint. that is true. A mould ripened goat's cheese. <laughs> mould ripened. <laughs> when fruit goes mouldy, you're not like, ah, oh, mould oh, ripened. Yeah. It's actually very ripe. It's just too ripe. Yeah. Paired with some rose Turkish delight. Personally, I hate <laughs> rose flavour. <laughs> if I wanted to drink my shower gel, I would. It even looks like soap. Maybe it is soap. You can see the inside's very soft looking, and the outside's sort of got like a hardened, wrinkly yeah. texture. Like that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that looks good yeah. to me. You didn't need yeah. it. Oh, smell that though. That's pungent. Yeah, it's got a bit of smelly feet. And look, it's got the shower gel on top. <laughs> oh, it just smells like my gym bag. Yeah, it does. It actually does. All right, let's do this. All in one. All in one. The cheese is very strong though, and I don't think I could handle the cheese by itself. The Turkish Delight offsets it a little bit. I could cope with the cheese on its own. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I know what we should try next. Here we go, this one here. This is the freaking Hawaiian, isn't it? No, this is a Akulia classic Gouda style with a great brittle texture paired with cumin roasted pineapple. I love a bit of pineapple. You're not a fan? Wow. No. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. Oh, pineapple's spicy. I almost want to um, enjoy them both separately. They're both quite nice. Mm, both really nice. And the nice. cumin roasted pineapple is good, but Very distinct why flavor. put them together? We have had a lot of plates of cheese already. <laughs> okay. So this one, this is an award-winning cheese. Oh. Award-winning triple cream, rich, luxurious, and buttery. Wow, look, it's very yellow. The description is literally decadent AF. Oh. Uh, and it's paired with a scone and lemon curd. What does AF mean? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I'll let you explain. Yeah, autofocus. Okay. It's a camera feature. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Very soft. Very soft. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's so creamy. I really like that. I would give that an award. Wow. I, I would. If you wanted to make yeah. me judge, and I am available. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Dan, when did you realise that you were an absolute cheese Fiend. nut, cheese head? <laughs> well, I haven't realised that yet. But you love cheese, I probably do love more cheese. than anyone I know. <laughs> so when did you realise that that was your calling in life? Passion. <laughs> I don't know whether it is my calling or my passion. <laughs> when I just like cheese. <laughs> I don't think of myself as a cheese nut, but it probably everybody else does. Do you think the more like really smelly, strong cheese you eat, even more smelly and strong cheese you start to crave? Probably, like although, I mean, I think you get to a point with some cheeses where it's yeah. almost burning the inside of your mouth. Okay. Is that the limit for you? Too much. Yeah, yeah it becomes too much. Literal yeah. poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like something you'd find in like a 1980s nuclear bunker. There's something <laughs> radioactive about it. This is called the truffle baron. We slice open perfectly ripe Brie style Baron Bigot and sandwich a layer black truffle and British cream cheese. Mm. 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 Oh, it's fantastic. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's fantastic, mm. really. Oh. That it's is lovely. Cheesy, creamy, truffly, all of the ah, things. That's a cheesy bonanza. It's like an ABBA concert. Mm. <laughs> so good. I could eat that all night. Oh, well, I'm not sure I could, but it was still not good. all night, but it was very good. It was very good. All right. Is there time for one last well, cheese, Josh? You know what we could do? There's one that I wanted to try, number 23 just famously shaped with a kitchen colander. There's also... You, you sit, Josh, a next to a conveyor belt of food. It's paired with sweet garlic. I don't even know what that means. Uh, or we could just do the, the, the cheesecake. <laughs> I think it's cheesecake. Well, look, we can always keep trying cheeses off camera after we wrap the video. You know, I don't, I don't want to overload the content. Yeah, we, yeah, we could. <laughs> so I'm assuming that this cheesecake is going to be genuinely cheesy. Because some cheesecakes aren't. That's true. Cheesecake okay, and a cheese bar. here we go. Nice. Really nice. Mm. It's just a cheesecake though. The last half hour of sitting here trying all of these like insane pairings, I'm expecting like a very, very strong Dilton to just come out of the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It's just cheesecake. Just a cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it's lovely. Really nice. Uh, have you ever tried this many cheeses in one I sitting? I certainly have not. <laughs> Not an advert for this place, but apparently every Wednesday you can pay £25 and, and it's all you can eat. Eat as much cheese as you want. OK. Why didn't we come on a <laughs> Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the one with the flapjack. Oh, he's, just, he's, this is just he's for me. This is just for me. We can, we can end. We can, we can wrap the video. I just wanted to try this one. Well, uh, on that note, guys. We'll see you jolly soon. See you jolly soon. Bye. Oh, look at this one, though. Flapjack. This one looks like a strong cheese. You're going to love this.